How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast on YouTube. This is... Hmm. This is one of those DVDs that I don't think enough people know about. And if you're into old horror shit and just goofy stuff, like, it's hard to describe this. Okay, real simple. I got clued into this. There was an article and an issue of Video Watchdog magazine that I picked up after the issue had come out, like a couple of years after it had come out, talking about this disc. Monsters Crash the Pajama Party, Spook Show Spectacular, Bonus, and Asylum of the Insane. Shock Short and 3D Spooker. I'm a 3D, 3D, 3D. Over three hours of Spook Show Madness. So spooky, we dare you sit through it all. It's spooky, it's scary, it's screwy. The most spine tingling fun and fright show on earth. It's chiller, it's chillericious. Prepare to be scared. Hypnoscope condition your nerves and gives your cur you courage to face the terror and sudden shock you will experience. You will scare the yell out of you. Make up a spook party. Can you take it? 100% spooky. What this is? Rented it. So want to see us? Rented for Netflix. It was out of print. This is one of those. Even though it does not say, if I remember right, yeah, the something weird logo is very tiny on this thing. And they explain that article, and I'll eventually review the magazine and explain it, tell the story of why it's smaller on this, this one than it is on any other of the releases. But it's an image release. So I was like, okay, I rented it. It was really cool. But I really wanted to own a copy. But used copies were like 20, 30 bucks, way more than I'm willing to pay. And then for Christmas, I ended up getting like a ten dollar amazon card from a friend and i found this on amazon for like three dollars and two dollars shipping still sealed now that was a long time ago i've watched this multiple times what this is and let's open this up first you get monsters crash the pajama party which was part of the spook show experience back in the day you go to theater at midnight you get like two movies and then they in before the first movie between the first and second movie and after the second movie and at midnight they'd stop the movie sometimes they would put on like magic acts and do like gangrel, grand goo now. I don't know how the fuck you say it. It's just that French gore theater thing on stage. It's trying to draw more people in. Well, Monsters Crash Your Down Party was a short film made for that circuit. And what it is is in the middle of the film towards the end, the scientist sends the monsters out of the movie to run an audience and kidnap a victim. And they'd always have a girl planted wearing a certain outfit. And they say it. On the comment, there's two commentaries on the little short film. Listen to both of them if you get this. Uh, they explain, you know, how it worked. Every theater had somebody run out, grab the girl, take her back, and look like she would pop up on the screen. But you get this little spook show book, which is fairly informative. And it's fairly long. You get two pairs of shitty ass 3d glasses that don't have any limbs but hey i got better ones that came with other stuff and i'm just glad all this that's why i wanted this i wanted all this extra shit that came with it and what it is is there's no menus on this disc that's the fucked up thing about it and that's explained in that article that i have to find that issue and do a video on that basically you're supposed to put this disc in and there's nothing in here that a kid under the age of like say six or seven shouldn't see and it's like four different screens. You kind of maneuver between them and you can highlight different things, hit enter, and like you might get a little clip from a film. You might get a little short educational film that's kind of horror based. You might get trailers. You might get this Monsters Crash Pajama Party film. Uh, there's a full film on here called Tormented that's a B.I. Was it Bert I. Gordon? Is that that guy? The guy did the Colossal 50 Foot Woman movie. And Colossal Man, I think that's I think that's who did it. It's a ghost story. It's, it's all right. It's not the best print of it. Just all kinds of crazy shit on here. Like a lot of memorabilia from these spooky shows, like flyers and stuff with some cool music playing over. Just just a great little disc. If you're into horror history, especially if you like driving style shit, this is something you don't hear as near as much about. And I'm kind of glad this came out. And I never hear anybody mention it. This is probably the second time I've reviewed this in a way right here because i know this will pop up on the blog i did it years ago for halloween it was like a written review this is just oh it's so cool it's one of those things where i've thrown it in a couple of different halloween parties and somebody ends up always picking up their remote and just kind of exploring and seeing what all's on there and like i said it's kid friendly so you can put it on at any party any, there's nothing i really think would offend anybody especially when it's coming out from something weird 
Just a great, 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 great release. I mean. Two hundred and fourteen minutes. Oh, that's Monsters Crash or Spook. Monsters Crash and Pajama Party Spook Show Spectacular. Oh wait a minute, Silence of the Insane. Forgot to mention that. Oh, there's another thing I should mention. And Silence Aim is a short 3D film in somebody's backyard insert for Oh god damn, it's one of the David Freeman films and I cannot think of it right now, and it gets mentioned. In that article that I keep on referencing, and I think it might get mentioned on here somewhere. And the other thing I should mention, and is it listed on the back here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Gasp at Har Home Productions from the 1920s, 40s, and 60s as you witness London After Midnight, The Mummy, Mr. Hyde, and more. London After Midnight. Something weird video. London After Midnight. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.